first thing we're going to do is open up CorelDRAW. Let it open. No, that's not a backup file. Go File, New from Template. Scroll all the way down to Backup of Versa, Lazy Cut. So that'll give you a nice platform. And then import wherever your cube file, whatever it was. Import the DWG. Import. Make sure it's automatic. And make sure the auto reduce node box is checked. Click wherever you want to place the file. And then zoom in on it. Right there, the little magnifying glass. You can highlight what you're going to zoom in on. And it will make it fit your screen. Now, all we're going to do. Oops. You want window dockers and you want the property dock. If it's not there already, it should be. Yeah. We're going to make sure they're all set to hairline right there. And first thing we're going to do is set everything so it's blue. It looks purple on the screen, but it's blue. And okay. Now we can go How around. How did you get that little click thing? What little did you do thing. for that? You Hold highlighted it. it? How did you highlight it? Oh, oh you used. Actually, I think it was highlighted from when I drug it in. But you can just click in the lower left or lower right hand corner and drag it up, and it'll select everything. Okay. But we're gonna select out. So you just Each click line. on the line. Yep. Each okay. line, and then if you click one after the other, it's only gonna select mo single lines. So to select more than one line, you hit the shift button and hold it. all the outside lines that you won't cut. And if you miss some, it's easy to go back. Like I missed that one right there. Those two, it's easy to go back. Select those after the fact. And change them, we're going to make them red. Red tells the laser to turn the power up and cut through whatever you're cutting and the blue is a lower, it's an etching, it's a low power. Okay, now that we have the cube exactly how we want it, we select what we want to cut because we don't want to cut the whole entire platform and go file, print, make sure you click selection, it'll only print what you have selected and then go print. Down in the right hand corner, it says Universal Laser System Control Panel. There's a little red box with an exclamation point, I think, in the middle. And when you open it up, you should see your drawing, whatever you're going to cut. And next, make sure the laser's on. Where do you turn the laser on with? Oh, the power button. Okay. You go into the settings and choose whatever you're going to cut on. So for us, for our foam board, we're going to be choosing. Map board custom and the thickness, you can leave the material thickness, it works fine. It also um, works at 0 0.14 too. 0.14? Mm -hmm. You don't get quite as much of the heat. Well, we can change it to 0.14. Click OK. And now it should be ready. So if we have a piece of foam board that we can throw in there. Board in there. Make sure it's nice and flat. Make sure the corner it's, in, it's clear in the corner. All you have to do is now make sure the filter's on. The big green button down on the bottom, that light should be on and should be able to hear it as it comes on. Maybe. There we go. Just a little fire. 